What is stress? Any change in environment that changes or threatens to change an extensive optimal steady state is called stress. Tell me some hormones elevated in stress condition. Epinephrine, no epinephrine, cortisol, adrenocorticotrophic hormone. What is the action of adrenocorticotrophin hormone? It acts on adrenal cortex and stimulates the production of cortisol hormone which is the glucocorticoid. Tell me something about glucocorticoids and some examples. Glucocorticoids are steroid hormones synthesized in adrenal cortex such as cortisol, corticosterone. They have anti-inflammatory effects so they are used as drugs such as cortisone, prednisone, methylprednisone and dexamethasone. They increase in stressful conditions and resist the stress. They activate sympathetic nervous system. They rapidly mobilize amino acids and fats for the energy. They can increase plasma glucose levels. What is the condition occur when glucocorticoid levels get elevated? Cushing syndrome. Okay, what are the symptoms of Cushing syndrome? Mood faced with red cheeks. Thin arms and legs, thinning of skin, buffalo hump, pendulous abdomen, poor wound healing, easy bruising. How Cushing syndrome causes elevated blood sugar levels? Increased glucocorticoids decrease the peripheral utility of glucose. They catabolize proteins and amino acids are converted to glucose. So, they increase the plasma glucose levels precipitating insulin resistant diabetes. What is diabetes mellitus? A syndrome of chronic hyperglycemia due to relative insulin deficiency, resistance or both. Tell me, how are you going to manage a patient present with diabetic ketoacidosis? Actually, I want to know the basis of that therapy. As these patients are dehydrated, 0.9% saline is given intravenously to expand the intravascular and extravascular volumes and to restore the renal perfusion, then to correct the water and electrolyte deficits. To correct the hyperglycemia present in this condition, insulin is given intravenously with closely monitoring the blood glucose level. Why these patients are dehydrated? Because they are presented with polyuria due to osmotic diuresis. How polyuria occurs in diabetes mellitus? In diabetes mellitus, plasma glucose level is increased. As it exceeds the renal threshold, it is present in urine. It increases the osmotic pressure in the renal tubules causing water retention. So, urine output is increased this is called osmotic diuresis what can you say about the sodium concentration and amount of sodium present in the urine in this condition as the volume of tubular fluid is increased due to the osmotic diuresis the con concentration of urine is decreased due to the dilution it will increase the gradient out of the lumen against which the sodium are pumped finally the limiting concentration gradient is reached to reabsorb the sodium, so sodium reabsorption decreases. So, amount of sodium ions present in urine will increase. What are other causes for polyuria? Diabetic insipidus, hysterical polydipsia. How are you going to differentiate uh, these two? By performing water deprivation test. If the serum osmolarity is more than 300 milliosmoles per kilogram and urine osmolarity is less than 600 milliosmoles per kilogram, after this test, we can diagnose it as diabetic insipidus. But in hysterical polydipsia, both serum osmolarity and urine osmolarity will decrease. Then what is desmopressin test? It is used to differentiate two types of uh, diabetes insipidus. Tell me what happens in each type. The two types of diabetes insipidus 
are cranial type and nephrogenic type. Cranial type diabetes insipidus is due to the decreased production of antidiuretic hormone. So, when performing the desmopressin test, after administration of desmopressin, it will uh, correct the clinical features of diabetic insipidus because uh, desmopressin is an analog for vasopressin. But the patient who are present with nephrogenic diabetes insipidus don't respond to desmopressin because in this condition collecting ducts of the renal tubule fail to respond to antidiuretic hormone. What is the action of antidiuretic hormone in kidneys? It acts on B2 receptors on collecting ducts causing insertion of aquaporin 2 water channels which leads to increased reabsorption of water. What is the main water conservation mechanism in kidney? Countercurrent mechanism. What are the structures involved in this mechanism? Loop of Henle acts as countercurrent multiplier which produces hyposmolar medullaric interstitium. Vasa recta acts as countercurrent exchanger which maintains the medullary hyposmolarity. Can you explain it? The fluid enters the loop of Henle from proximal convoluted tubules and exits to distal convoluted tubules. The ascending limb of loop of Henle is not water permeable and it contains sodium 2 chloride potassium co transporter. So, sodium chlorine potassium ions are actively pumped out from the thick part of the ascending limb of loop of Henle in excess of water. It increases the osmolarity of medullary fluid. As juxta medullary nephrons have longer loops and thin ascending limbs, the osmotic gradient is spread over greater distance. The osmolarity of tip of the loop is greater. Descending limb of loop of Hende is extremely permeable to water, so water is easily reabsorbed and less permeable to ions. So it increases the solid concentration which reaches the ascending limb. These solutes are trapped in medulla due to the countercurrent exchanges. Descending limb of vasa recta is not fenestrated. Solutes enter to this and water diffuse from this to interstitium. So descending limb of vasa recta progressively increase in concentration. Ascending limb is fenestrated, solutes diffuse back to the medullary interstitium, and water moves into the vasa recta. Blood becomes less concentrated, therefore, the solutes recirculate in vasa recta. Osmotic gradient created by countercurrent multipliers is maintained, not washed out. As collecting ducts goes through hyposmolar medulla, Water moves out of the collecting ducts to the hypertonic interstitium of medulla. It makes urine concentrated. Tell me some other hormones acting on kidneys. Aldosterone, angiotensin 2, atrionetriuretic peptide and parathyroid hormone. What are the actions of parathyroid hormone? Parathyroid hormone acts directly on bone to increase bone resorption and mobilize calcium. It increases the phosphate excretion from urine, depressing the plasma phosphate levels and it increases so calcium reabsorption from the tubular cells of kidney and it increases formation of 125-dihydroxychlorocalciferol and increase calcium absorption from intestine. Finally, it increases the plasma calcium level. What can you say about calcium excretion in urine when there is a functioning parathyroid tumor? Calcium excretion is increased. As parathyroid hormone increases in blood, it can cause increased calcium ion level in blood. 
So the load of the calcium filtered by glomeruli is increased. It overwhelms the effect on reabsorption of calcium from renal tubules by parathyroid hormone. Any other consequences related to kidneys in hyperparathyroidism? Yes, the formation of calcium-containing kidney stones.